Good morning and welcome to day four of our Mexican Riviera cruise on the Carnival Panorama. We are in Puerto Vallarta today. We are gonna go explore. It's gonna be an amazing day. So let's go check it out. The schedule was that we could get off the ship at 9.15, but at 8.45, they said we were clear to go into Puerto Vallarta. They did say that it's on deck zero, midship and forward ship to get off. And they said to make sure that you're in your group because you get in one big line. So we're gonna go find out how it is. You can see people are already getting off the ship down there. You can see the small fishing boats heading out to sea for the day. Way in the distance is the Old Town and the Malacon. Right here down below is a little market. And excursion boats coming in to pick people up for the day. We've got the shopping mall right there. There's a Walmart and a Sam's Club. The nice thing about Puerto Vallarta is you get to walk right off the ship. It's not a tendered port. Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. So we didn't rush out this morning. We took our time, we went for breakfast. It's 10 o'clock now. Feels pretty calm, pretty relaxed, still busy, but. Mm -hmm. Walked right off the ship. Yeah. To get out of the port area, you do need to walk through the small shopping area. There's a duty-free shop in here that sells all sorts of stuff, including different liquors, as well as chocolates, hot sauces in here. Now, if you don't have an excursion booked already, there are vendors selling excursions here, and it's decorated in a Mexican style. It's a really fun area to walk through, as well as there'll be some of the famous port shops like Diamonds International here. And hey, if you have a hankering for some tacos, you can grab those here in the port as well. A bit of a maze to get out of the port shopping here, but lots of short stores in there. You can buy all your souvenirs and we are out by the road. I think we're gonna go grab some drinks over at Walmart before we head into Old Town, downtown Puerto Vallarta. I always like the crosswalks here in Mexico. They actually show a guy running. I should mention there's lots of traffic here, so be very careful when you're crossing the street. So Walmart is directly across the street from the ship. We are gonna come back, but first we're going over to the mall. Up on the second floor is a really nice balcony that you can take pictures of the ship from. It's very humid here today. It is very humid. It's not super hot, but it is definitely on the sticky side. And probably only a five minute walk here to the shopping mall and Walmart. So let's go check it out. If you forgot anything for your trip, there's good news. Liverpool is a big department store that you can find just about anything. Yeah, if you need clothing or shoes, they've got you covered. As well as this mall has tons of little stores. Again, if you need shoes, sunglasses, they've got you covered here. As well as there is a Starbucks in here if you need that morning cup of coffee. There's also a full food fair here with restrooms and free Wi-Fi right next to the balcony. a good place for photos of the ship. Yeah, right in the second story of the mall. At the food fair, you can see the ship there. We are back at Walmart. We are gonna head inside and look for some beverages to take down to the Malacon. Now this Walmart is pretty much like any other Walmart that you've visited before. But the cool thing is they do have free Wi-Fi. And they have motorcycles. Yes, they have motorcycles here. 39,990 pesos gets you this green motorcycle. They've also got all sorts of liquor in here. If you're liquor shopping, they've got a ton for you to choose from here as well. There's also lots of cold beverages for really reasonable prices. Walmart has lots of souvenirs and Puerto Vallarta gear that you can bring home for your friends and family. Everything from snow globes, picture frames, shells, they've got wallets in here, shot glasses, dishes. 
Mi casa es su casa. And of course, my favorite thing to bring home is the vanilla. It's a great price here. So we got some beverages at Walmart and we we're all hydrated. We're gonna take the city bus down to Old Town and the Malacon. So we're actually back over by the Carnival Panorama and the bus stop is not too far down the road towards the Malacon, past the Shell Station in front of the grocery store here. There is a bus stop. We did ask some people and they said to wait for the next bus and that would take us right to the Malacon. So the bus station is right here, the grocery store is right there, and you can see the panorama off in the distance. We made it to Old Town, downtown area. We're about a block from the Malacon. Really easy to get here, about a 20 minute bus ride. And it said 10 pesos on the bus. We gave them a dollar each, which was more than enough to cover it. And we're right by the Starbucks in Old Town here. About a block ahead is the McDonald's and the start of the Malacon. But we're gonna take a right, head right to the ocean and take a better look. So you can see the beaches there in front of the condos and the panorama is way down there past the high rises. Let's stroll back on this boardwalk over to the Malacon. As Senior Frogs and McDonald's, the traffic stops and the Malacon begins. Super muggy and hot. This is <laughs> yep. amazing. It's beautiful down here. All the palm trees. Now, if you're walking down the Malacan and you start to hear flutes, it's probably the famous Papantla pole flyers here in Puerto Vallarta. If you stop to watch or take photos, they will come around to collect tips or donations. The Puerto Vallarta Malacan is famous for its amazing restaurants, the brick walkways, the palm trees, and all the art and sculptures that you'll find down here. Many different artists have contributed to these amazing sculptures that you will find all along the Malacan. This was one of my favorite, really cool. And if you're down here as well, the Puerto Vallarta sign is here. Now there's usually a long lineup, so you may have to wait a few minutes to get a photo. The Malacan is always such a beautiful walk down here. Gorgeous parks and restaurants, shopping, art. If you're looking to do some shopping while you are here on the Malacan, you are in luck. They have blankets starting at $3.99, t-shirts, two for $15 US, sundresses, hats, mugs for $10, glasses, and Puerto Vallarta souvenirs. Look at that condo, Andrea, it's gorgeous. I'd love to stay there. There's a pool, there's the beach right across the way. It looks lovely. Okay, this one is my favorite. I love the kids and the animals, so cute. And these benches made of all the little tiles. There's a marlin in there. It's so bright. The Malacan crosses over the Rio Quale here, which is right next to Oscar's restaurant and bar. And this is known that people have seen crocodiles in the river here, so keep your eyes peeled. You never know what you might see. 
We are heading away from the Malacan and the ocean towards Old Town. We're gonna go past some souvenir shops and take a look, but we're in search of the cathedral Parish of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Old Town, there's so many little restaurants, shops, and souvenirs down here. The cobblestone streets, it's amazing to walk around down here, just gorgeous. Full of culture. And there is the cathedral, only a few blocks from the Malacan. So tall. A beautiful brick cathedral. Let's go inside and have a closer look. We're done here down in Old Town. We'll catch the bus and head towards the port. Hey Andrea, wanna go work out? Uh, do you? <laughs> I work out. We bought a Starbucks mug here today. We're in the Starbucks in the mall across from the port. They currently have a Mexico City, a Mexico mug, and Las Cabos. Back at the port shopping mall, there's lots of signs showing you how to get back to the ship. And again, you can pick up any last minute souvenirs while you're here. Now, on your way back to the ship, they are giving away complimentary lemon water for you to enjoy. Just make sure you have your room card ready for getting back on the ship. Ooh, a new little friend. Is that a kangaroo? I think it is. Cute. Cute little kangaroo waiting for us here in our room. While we were in Walmart, we picked up six cans of Pepsi and six cans of Coke. Mm -hmm. And we brought them back on board and it was no issue. There was a sign that said you could bring up to 12 cans of soda. Mm -hmm. Had to be non-alcoholic, so. We brought that on board, ahead. put them in our fridge. And, and we came back, we were hot. Yeah. Went and rode the water slide and jumped in the pool, so. Um, and now we just got ready for dinner. We're gonna head out for dinner and there's some comedy tonight that we're gonna check out. Uh, we get to look at the pirate ship while we eat. I know, how fun is that? And Walmart. So in the Hub app, we can see our photos that they've taken of us. And there's a whole bunch of photos that are not us in there. Yeah. And I don't know if I, it says remove album, but I don't know if it removes all the photos or just the one. we got some doppelganger lookalikes on the ship, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> There's pulled wild boar for an appetizer. A pulled wild boar slider, actually. So we'll see how that is. What an awesome evening we had here after getting back on the ship from Puerto Vallarta. First off, Puerto Vallarta, amazing day. It was hot, it was fun. There is the Malacan and just exploring the city. What an amazing place to visit. It's you, beautiful. Yeah, you had a great day? I did, it was beautiful. Yeah, we did. It was tons of fun. So when we got back on the ship, we, well, we went for the a quick slide and swim, but then we went for dinner at the Vista restaurant. It was pretty quiet, because a lot of people are still out exploring Puerto Vallarta, because they didn't have to be back until 8.30. So as you can imagine, it was pretty quiet around here. Yeah, Sail Away was at 8.30. It was pretty much on the button. I was surprised. The fastest, like, for everyone back, we were gone 8.40, I think the ship was moving. Yeah, if not earlier. It was, yeah. I think it was 8.32. So um, it was, they were ready to rock and roll out It was here. impressive, yeah. very yeah. impressive, yeah. yeah. So um, let's start out with dinner and then we'll talk about what we did after that. So dinner, 
There was some great food tonight. Yeah, I'm gonna start with my appy though. Okay. And uh, I had the fried mozzarella stick. Okay. Which was really good, but I just have to say one thing that was kind of interesting is that in the buffet, they also had the uh, fried mozzarella sticks as well, mm -hmm. but they were much bigger. So, so as the appy, they were tiny. So I got one, uh, just one piece, and that came with a, uh, like a iceberg lettuce salad on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you really want a whole bunch of them with the sauce, because they're really that good, uh, you can get some more up in the buffet yeah. <laughs> if you want. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then we actually all had a Caesar salad, which is excellent. We love Caesar. And salads. I had the barbecue pulled wild boar, and I think that might have been my favorite appetizer maybe ever on a cruise ship it was um kind of like pulled pork with coleslaw on it it was excellent so i tasted like, it it was if, and you, if you like that sort of thing make sure you try it it was under the rare section on the menu so um they're not gonna have it all the time but it was really good and it was really pretty too with the coleslaw mm -hmm. on top it was nicely done yeah and i tasted some of ken's it was really good so <laughs> Then for the main course, I had the southern fried chicken, so did our son, and you had... Uh, the salmon, okay, I don't know how to say this. I'm gonna say kulbiak, it's the salmon and the pastry with the rice. Okay. Which, to me, it tastes like a chicken pot pie, kind of that crust flavor, but then it's like with salmon. So I find it really delicious. Yeah, I didn't try it, but uh, you seem to enjoy it. Uh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. And then for dessert, we all had the bitter uh, uh, and blanc. So it's like a bread pudding with chocolate in it. And then mm -hmm. they put a vanilla cream sauce on top. It was good. It was mm -hmm. much sweeter than the bread pudding my mom made for me growing <laughs> up. Uh, it was really good though, but it was uh, a, kind of more of a comfort food dessert, yeah. but it was a uh, little on the sweet side, but it was really tasty. It was good. And we were right by the window again, and it was nice because we saw the pilot, pilot ship, pirate ship sail away and all sorts of excursions coming in and out, catamarans, that sort of thing all coming in and out. A lot of people, there's a lot of tipsy people tonight on the ship. I yeah. think all those catamaran tours and people drinking all day. So um, yeah, a little oh, people, too much sun for a lot of people. What you should know though, is that we decided to uh, make reservations for the same time every night um, at the same table. That way we had the same waiter. We really liked our spot. Um, but we were a little worried about it being a port day and what if we weren't back? And they told us, no problem. They said, mm -hmm. uh, if you're not back, don't worry about it. You know, you just come for dinner when you get here. They said it's a quiet day anyways for them. So they don't need to know ahead of time. So if you're worried about that, it's all okay. Yeah. Get back when you get back, just be back before they're all aboard. <laughs> but that, yeah. yeah. We were back probably around four o'clock maybe yeah and yeah. we had till 8 30 so we had tons of time Lots today of time. so after dinner we went to the comedy comedy it was in the liquid lounge and it was vargas mason tonight and that was a ton of fun too um so they did it in the theater or the the liquid lounge um, a lot more people there tonight and um we went to their family show went to the family show it was funny. They're doing, right now actually, they're doing the adult show. So yes. that was a little later. Um, but the PG show, so what was, did you think? It was, he was really good. He and was. you can tell, they, I can see why they moved it into the bigger venue because he, uh, I think people really enjoy his shows. Yeah. And they, he's, he definitely upped the well game known. on yeah. the comedy. So yeah. yeah, it was really good there. And then from there, we went straight up to deck 10 or the Lido deck, and they were doing the decades music trivia party so you'd go through the music you had to kind of guess what it was and then for each kind of song they had a little dance dance off and they went it through fun. it all that was a lot of fun people sang along dancing um not as many people as like the the kind deck of party big deck night. parties yeah. but a lot of people out there just enjoying and making their guesses on the song. So it was definitely hard because they didn't play a lot of the songs. Truthfully, I was too tired to get out there and dance tonight, but we went up onto deck 11 and they have like really cough, cough, soft, comfy chairs yeah. up on deck 11. So if you get up there early, you may be able to snake some of the comfy chairs and mm -hmm. then you can sit and watch everybody else dance and sing along and still play the trivia. Yeah. And the one side on deck 11 is the smoking side for those of you who smoke and the other side is non-smoking, so um, keep that in mind if you're yeah. finding a seat up there. Any other thoughts on the day? No, it was a fun-filled, mm -hmm. busy day. Um, 
it was a lot of stuff. We did a lot of things yeah. and it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah. Now tomorrow is Mazatlan. Yes. So I'm not sure what we're going to get up to yet. We're hoping to make it over to the golden zone and mm -hmm. to kind of the old town as well. So um, hopefully we can find some cool stuff to share with you. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So you join us for Mazatlan tomorrow and we are going to head to bed. We're exhausted. <laughs> it's time to get some sleep and we will see you in the morning. Good night. <laughs>